Hi, I'm uh, Martin Sønderlund Christensen. I'm uh, the head of institute at the University College of Copenhagen, where I also uh, head the Center for Educational Resources, where we also have the Future Classroom Lab. Yeah, so um, uh, we launched uh, SkoleGPT um, or SchoolGPT. Uh, SchoolGPT in Danish. We like to keep it in Danish because it's a Danish project, uh, first and foremost. Uh, we launched it to uh, help uh, teachers uh, to actually bring AI into the classroom in order for them to figure out uh, what is it good for and what is it not good for, both from a didactical and pedagogical purposes and also for teaching. Uh, with and about uh, artificial intelligence. So, SchoolGPT is, uh, uh, is a sort of generative AI chatbot, much like ChatGPT, but it, it doesn't capture any data. It's, uh, you are anonymous with, this, with the system. We don't use the data to train uh, the model. Um, and uh, it's built on open source uh, components that, that we partly self uh, build ourselves and, and partly uh, uh, use uh, from other projects. And, and I think this is uh, also one of the uh, interesting things about the project that I hope to inspire other to uh, engage in uh, because uh, we are at a critical time in, in, uh, in, in with our schools and with teaching and learning uh, with AI, but we need to uh, get hands on and actually uh, empower uh, both ourselves, but also uh, teachers and, and students to, to be able to, uh, to build this. And actually, SchoolGPT is an example uh, that you can build something from scratch without having huge amounts of uh, funds. And this is because uh, we build on open source principles and open source frameworks. And we also, the things we build ourselves, we share with others. So. We are enabling a ecosystem of uh, a lot of interested parties that, that wants to contribute from the developer that's interested in the data science to the uh, teacher who's uh, interested in, in doing this, as, as well as uh, uh, sort of uh, governmental bodies like ministries and, and, and others who are keen to see this uh, uh, progress. We should not use AI to uh, take out the teacher or make the students uh, work easier. I think one of the principles, and I think this goes with everything, is kind of the, the best learning environment is the next learning environment. So what we do is not just provide school liberty, but also ideas and pedagogical or didactic uh, uh, resources that you can, for instance, let's say we want to innovate on uh, uh, sort of a how to use uh, or not to use screens in our uh, everyday life. We can talk to uh, instruct school GPT to be a critical uh, friend or a banker who we want to have money from. Or, but we need to go back and forth between the AI and uh, the group work, uh, the AI and uh, uh, your own work. Uh, so so um, I think uh, when we do that, we have a very much more uh, variation in the learning uh, situation. And uh, I think AI can enhance that. It can double for a, uh, a persona that you want to talk to. It can help you structure your text, but it, cannot, it should not do the work for you. Uh, so. Uh, I think where we see that it's fun and it's engaging and it's motivating is when you go back and forth between uh, at the screen, away from the screen, uh, to, to do these kind of uh, things. So that, that, that's, that's some of the, the good things that we've seen. And it's fun and engaging, uh, as teaching should be. Mm -hmm.